Boom! What's up everybody? My name is Kim Skywell and today I will be showing you my new favorite photo editor, uh, not editor, manager or uh, photo organizer and it's Digicam. It's a fantastic piece of software. It's free, open source. I highly recommend if you try it out and you like it that you give them a little donation uh, which is allowed because they're always working on it. They're always improving it. I will let you know I found a couple of bugs on it. Uh, it has to do with the search function of the database. It crashes the program for me. It doesn't have to do it for you. It might be my fault. I don't know. I've sent them a ticket on it, so we'll see. And um, it's just great. Let's just go in there and see. But first, remember to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave your comments down below. And uh, I'm also going to have the link to Digicam in the description here. And uh, please share this video. Get the word out that Digicam is a great, great photo organizer. So let me just make this a little bit bigger here. So we're going to start here. It's got the regular tree uh, searches you can go do, click through here and see, and that's great. And you can see when I do here we get this up on the right side here so you can start with the properties which just tells you the the most essential stuff and then you get all your metadata which is, you can see there's a whole bunch of metadata in here then we have colors it gives you um, your luminosity in your RGBs and it tells you the percentage and what color depth it is which is great and here you see the actual raw file output, not a compressed JPEG thumbnail. This is the actual raw file. So if I double click this or click this play button, you can see we changed up here and we get this bigger window and a film strip up top. So now you can use uh, your arrow keys and you can uh, go through them and you can add tags and ratings and stuff just like in, um, in Lightroom or uh, Adobe Bridge, so it's it's just fantastic. Up here we have the browse where you can import stuff, tags, items, edit, view tools. You can see we have search, advanced search, and you can even find duplicates. You can create panoramas, slideshows, and just import from uh, camera or card reader, and a whole bunch of different export options and settings here. So if you wanted to get back from this, you can just hit escape on your keyboard. And you, if your camera does geotagging, then you can get your geotags here. And if you have made uh, captions, like you got all your info here and copyrights and all, you'll find that there. And the versions, if you have different versions of a file, you got all your tags here. And then you got a whole bunch of tools over here. On this side, we have the tags. So here you can actually search by the tags and labels and here you can see you have ratings you can can give them different ratings here and colors and all this stuff you have your drafts timeline and this is pretty cool because let's say i wanted to find something from february 2020 you can click there you can see there's not a whole lot but there's something there and you can click here in september of 2019 or you can go to search here and let's say let's use january 2019 uh, uh, let's use uh, June 2019 and see here is what I was talking about when you use this search function it does uh, crash the program for some reason I really don't understand it it might be my fault since this is a database thing and I didn't understand that completely but you never know it, I choose to believe that it's a bug in the program but We'll see when I get the ticket back from them and if they can figure it out. But you see, when I open it up, now it's in June. Now it takes every one from June photos I have here. So since I didn't specify, I'm not going to type in 2019 again because then it might crash it uh, again. So you get your uh, similarities here. If you can search for similar photos. Again, you can add in all your stuff. You can search for geotag and people. So it's got face recognition. And you can see here it got 
a bunch of stuff. So if I wanted to see, uh, where is me? Kim, 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 there. Kim, 26, now I click here, and now I can see just my, the pictures that I'm in, that I'm tagged in here, albums and so on. This is just an absolutely fantastic um, piece of software. And I, re I really like it even with the bug, with the search stuff. That's the only bug I've found. But it's free, it's open source, and these guys, they are amazing. They keep working on it, improving it, and adding features all the time. So you can see we even have an image editor here. So if I highlight this image here, you can go to the image editor. I'm going to do a full walkthrough of this on a later date. But you can see this is how the raw converter looks. You still got your... Uh, metadata, colors, and all that information here. You can go up to color here, for example. Let's say we wanted to just give it a little bit more contrast. So then you can go in here to brightness. I'm just going to take it up a little bit and then go a whole bunch. See, I got the highlight burns and shadow burns on here. So if I turn those off, uh, underexposed indicator, and this is overexposed indicator. You could always lift up the gamma a little bit here. And then you could hit, uh, hit uh, OK here. Now you apply those changes you did. You can go and save here, save it as a new one, or discard. So I'm just going to discard because I'm not going to, I don't use this for, uh, but if you don't have uh, Affinity Photo, Luminar 4, Topaz Studio, and stuff, this is fantastic. It's free. You can do this, and it just it works. It, it's, it's great. So now you just hit this X up here, and you go up. Well, let's say I wanted to, um, I need to uh, convert this image from DNG to a TIFF for a one for some reason or a different format. Just mark it. You, you can even mark. I'm gonna take three, so you can see. You go to Batch Queue Manager. Now you see it has automatically loaded those in here. I'm gonna use it in the original album. We can go down here. We can set custom file names. I'm not going to change anything because I'm going to delete these after. You can do the behavior. So perform raw, this, uh, the mosaic. Raw converter, always 16-bit. I like to put that on and saving. This isn't that important for what we're going to do. So you can save your workflow here. I've made a workflow here. So if I would, I would just double-click this and I get that workflow. Now it's going to convert it over to 16 bits and then to a TIFF file. And let's say you wanted to do some more here. We can do, um, uh, where is um, uh, apply metadata template. You just double click it. You see it automatically comes up here. Then you can go here and I can add my copyright stuff. And now all you got to do is hit run all. And you can see we got this little progress bar here and it's going to keep telling us uh, what it's doing. You can also see the spinning gear icon here. And it takes a little bit, but now I'm running two instances of uh, OBS Studio and Audacity plus this program. So the computer is under a little bit of load. This is usually pretty quick. And you can see that the first one is done. It's working on the second one. Second one's done. I'm working on the third one. And that's it, it's really not not slow at all for uh, for what all the computer is doing right now. You can see everything is done now. All batch queues are finished down here, which is great. So if I now close this window, the, remember we're in the batch queue manager, just hit that file. Now we can see we have three TIFF files next to it, which is what we exported it to. So if I click here, you can see it hasn't really changed anything because these images are already 16-bit. But if I go up here to properties, you can see now TIFF, you can see the, the aspect ratio, all the camera information under metadata here. We should be able to see uh, somewhere my copyright info and all that stuff. Oh no, it's going to be here in the captions, I'm sorry. So copyright right here, you can scroll through all that stuff I did. So it, you can do it all from within your photo manager, which is just... Fantastic. Saves you time from closing this, opening a different one, having two windows side by side. I love this. And if you wanted to delete, um, so this will automatically refresh. But if you did some stuff, you can click on here, go to refresh. And now it's just checking its database again. 
and it finds any new uh, changes you did and it puts them in here. You can do that from the main album too, just so this is the main one for me. Click here, refresh, and it goes through all the folders you have. Cool. If you want to delete it, you just like normal, click it, click it, click it by holding down uh, control. You can right click now and then hit uh, move three files to trash. And then it gives you a preview here, which I like because you can, okay, I made all the right ones. If you went down below, you don't see everything on the screen. And then move to trash. And now they're gone here. I, I just love this. I love it. And you have slideshow table, full screen, preview, thumbnails, import again, and light table. Light table is a different, another thing you could have done. So under light table here, you could, if you had added in like more photos, you could go and you could um, uh, create a panorama. You could create an HDR, uh, HDR stack or blend stack images, as they call it here, and galleries, thumbnails, and all this stuff. So it's, I really recommend you trying out Digicam. Uh, the next couple of uh, uh, videos I'm going to be putting out is probably going to be on this and part of my workflow. The weather has just been crap these last since June pretty much. They haven't been able to go outside do any astro photography. So I'm just going to uh, show you my workflow. I'm going to take some test photos maybe just from my backyard and show you how I work through it and why I do what I do. And uh, if you like this, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, leave some comments down below and share the stuff out of this because this is a fantastic program test it out for yourself and see i'm sure you will be uh, will be impressed just uh, stay safe out there and i'll see you all next time